Whoa. Okay, let's get this set up. All right, so yeah, um, I got my little hipster glasses on because I feel like this look is pretty hipsterish and I just want to fit in. <laughs> so yeah, um, I painted this scream jacket using uh, acrylic paint. Um, shoot, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I wanted this just to look like, you know, like, I don't know if you know what this painting is, but it's pretty popular and I felt like fabric paint really wouldn't do the job and I didn't really want to buy any anyways. So I did this all in acrylic paint. It's kind of hard to get it to stick to the fabric. So you just got to put on like layers and layers and layers of paint, which is okay. I think it kind of gives it the feel that I was going for. Um, don't be frightened if you aren't good at art or anything because this painting is really abstracted anyways so like it doesn't really have to be perfect as long as you get the main ideas in there like the bridge and the sky and stuff and obviously the guy screaming it'll it'll turn out great so um I'm gonna show you how I did it but if you have other ideas feel free to do your own way but you know yeah life do what you want but uh I hope you enjoy my video stay tuned all right, so in the beginning, I'm just kind of um, using a ruler to sketch out the bridge. Um, you're just going to want to go from like corner to corner of your piece and make the top part um, skinnier than the bottom to give perspective of the bridge. So now I'm just going in with the white and just kind of sketching out how I want the um, picture to turn out like. Um, don't worry about making mistakes because it's really easy to go over the white and the white is gonna help us um, have the color stick better. So yeah, I'm just kind of drawing the scream guy right now, getting an idea of what he's gonna look like. And then now I'm just gonna start filling in everything with some color, or like the base color of it, so I can add details and highlights and lowlights to it. So I'm just kind of filling in his outfit in black, that's what he's wearing, and then I'll add highlights and lowlights later to make it look more real. I'm just kind of filling in the sky with some yellows and oranges and um, the land with white, water with some blues. And then I'm going to go into the bridge and just kind of uh, get a general idea of where things are going to be and fill them in. Use a huge or a bigger brush when you're doing this. You don't have to worry about um, much right now are the details so might as well just be faster and get it in okay and now I'm going in with black and adding um, like outlining some things so it's clearer to see mostly just the bridge right now now I'm going into the bridge and just kind of creating this like wood texture by just mixing like greens and oranges and yellows and blacks and grays just to kind of like give it some texture still using the bigger brush and it looks like I'm just filling in everything else right now adding a little bit more color to everything <laughs> all right now we're going to a different perspective because I kind of figured out the camera might be easier to see this way so I'm going in the sky and I start using like this one tool, I'm not sure what it's called in artistic terms, but it's really flat and um, it can grab more paint. I think it's mostly used for like mixing, but you could probably use a popsicle stick if you didn't have like this tool, but it's like this flat plastic thing that you can just like scoop up color because I was having a hard time getting the color to stick and giving it the look I wanted, so I just kind of grabbed dabs of paint and just kind of added it to it. Like it's really thick, but it ends up drying fast because it's oil paint, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm still using the stick to fill in the mountain area and just creating this like really like like I want you to be able to see the different colors I'm not really worried about blending them in because I think that's what adds to this painting and in the real painting it kind of looks like this too so I'm just adding in the river putting some whites and blues into it give it that watery looking effect <laughs> see what else going on over here and then I'm kind of like putting a lot of black around the edges to show the difference in the land and the water I'm putting a little bit of orange and yellow in there just to like go along with the sky I wouldn't recommend putting too much 
but it just kind of like pulls everything together. Now I'm taking like a smaller like brush to give a little bit more detail to the face. I'm um, just using black to outline what his face is going to look like. Being very, very careful. Oh, I just put a white highlight in there. Put white behind his eyes and his mouth. So that'll pop more. Oh, I'm going to switch the screen. I'm getting more paint. And I'm using an even smaller brush and outlining his hands. Adding a little bit more color. Again, I'm putting the orange just to make the piece go together because orange and blue are, I think it's called complementary colors. I should know this, I'm in art school. But um, that kind of makes it pop more and it does a better job than the whites to give highlights. And same thing with his like outfit. I want to call it a dress. I'm not even sure if it's a dress or whatnot, but putting some highlights and colors into his outfit so it's just not black because that'll make it look too flat. Just being a little bit abstract with it and all. All right, now I'm going in the land. Um, using a different shade of blue, it looks like. Um, putting some orange and mixing it with the blue. Same with the other side of the land. We want it to be a different color than the water, so it kind of gives some separation. Oh, and then going over with like this yellowish kind of white that looks like I blended together, maybe a little bit of orange. Throw it in there. You know, just mix stuff, but don't like mix the paint fully because it looks cooler in this aspect of like, like a marbled kind of effect, you know? All right, now I'm adding some color to the bridge because I wanted that to pop a little bit more. Going down with some yellow and then adding some orange and white. And this looks like I'm a little bit kind of blending it together, but not too much because the wood part of this is more blended than I'd say the uh, sky and the water. You know, but just feel free to do whatever you want, really. I feel like as long as you get the general idea, it'll turn out pretty cool, you know? You could probably do this in fabric paint, too. I just decided to do it in acrylic because I didn't have any, really. I might try to make another jacket with fabric paint. I feel like it would be easier to work with, but, you know, this is what I had, and it turned out pretty sweet so why not so yeah just keep going in adding color follow the direction of the um, diagonal line so it looks like it goes with the wood you know it kind of gets a little bit blurry in the back but you know that's with perspective you know it's clearer up front where he's standing anyways looks like I'm adding some green to the land Blending it in a little bit. You know, sometimes you gotta wait for it to dry a little bit before you kind of like blend it. So I think I let the water dry and then I just kind of went in there and that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I let it dry like that and then I kind of went back in and added the um, people in the background. I didn't put too much detail in them. I just kind of like made a head and a body and just kind of put them there because I don't feel like that's the main focus. But yeah, that's it. So um, I hope you guys try this out and show me how it looks. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.